why are you going, uh, why are you making this into a railroad station? Why not just conventional stores? Well, I think the yard itself is a very unique situation. You know, it was an old construction yard at one time, and the warehouses had been overgrown with weeds and so forth, and when I acquired it, I had had the idea that the shells themselves could be up, to, that we could remodel them and use them for commercial space. I really didn't realize that it would take, take charge as well as it did, but the response that I got from stores that I approached in town was tremendous, so I decided to go ahead and convert it to a shopping center. Now, as far as the railroad cars are concerned, it really does. It really fits right into the theme. Okay. I'm Paul Schaefer. It might look like a train derailment occurred here, but actually these are stores being set in place. See if I can think of something to come up with. Good vantage point. Put me in the foreground and that in the Jaffe does not foresee having any problems getting tenants for his stores here. In fact, he says he already has a waiting list of people that want to open up shops. He expects to have the whole depot ready within, well, about six weeks, he says. Paul Schaefer, four big news on the scene at the yard. Yeah. Jaffe says he'll have no problem getting tenants to open stores here. In fact, he says he already has shopkeepers that are on his waiting list and expects to have the stores open by the next six weeks. Paul Schaefer, four big news on the scene at the yard. Dad, Paul Schaefer. Hi, how are you? 